Ladies and gentlemen, we are less than one month away from Call of Duty Next. And with Call of Duty Next, we expect to find a whole bunch more information about multiplayer of Black Ops 6, zombies in Black Ops 6, probably a little bit of Warzone as well. Now, on that date, which is August 28th, I will keep you guys covered with all of the information that comes out. But until then, over the next month, we are going to be diving in depth with all of the information that we know and have learned about Call of Duty Black Ops 6. Now, before that event, I would expect to get a whole bunch of reveals. So you're going to want to stay tuned to the channel. Make sure you subscribe. Make sure you have notifications on all of that kind of jazz. As far as today's video, what we're going to be diving into is all of the maps, multiplayer maps that we know and have seen in Call of Duty Black Ops 6. Now, some of these are completely confirmed. We have the names of the map others of which we basically know because we saw them in the briefing, but we weren't given names or direct options as to what these actually are. So in this video, we know that there are 16 total maps coming at launch. I will dive a little bit more into that in a second, but we know and have seen 12 of them. Now, there's some other expectations that we're going to go through as well, uh, but that is what I'm going to be showing you. All of the maps that we have seen so far in Black Ops 6, and there's probably a lot more of them than you may realize. So. Without further ado, let me get in and start explaining what we know about maps in Call of Duty Black Ops 6. So essentially what has been announced is that there is going to be 16 maps at launch. 12 of these are going to be normal 6v6 maps, whereas four of them are going to be what's called strike maps. Now we know that these are essentially gunfight 2v2 maps. However, on all of them, you are also able to play 6v6. In other words, these are really, really small maps. So then we get into the maps that have been confirmed, the first of which is called Skyline. This one appears to be some sort of high roller, building, house, apartment, whatever you want to call it, kind of giving me some raid vibes from previous Black Ops games, and as a whole looks like a rather close quarters map with a bunch of glass windows and a pool centering the map. Now this map in particular is interesting because in a scene where a Hellstorm missile is called in, it appears as though we can actually get a little bit of an overview of what this map actually looks like and see a pretty large vista surrounding it. Now the second map that has been confirmed is called Derelict. Now as far as this one goes, this is essentially an abandoned train yard kind of in a forest. This one appears to be kind of a more linear map where you have a bunch of broken down trains, maybe a couple small destroyed buildings here or there, but nonetheless there's not like high buildings or elevation you can get to, but all in all looks like a pretty interesting map. Now the next one is called Scud. Now this one was the one that was kind of shown alongside Omni Movement. There's a giant satellite dish in the middle of the map. Now originally there was a list of leaked maps for Black Ops 6, one of which was called Radar, and I believe that to be this one. All in all, we don't get to see too much gameplay, but what we do see is there's a various different trenches that kind of go through this area centralized around a big satellite, and there is one scene in particular where we see a day version of this map and then a night version, and I'm not sure what that indicates at this point, whether there's going to be different versions of it or whether there's going to be a day and night cycle. I am not sure, or whether it's just nothing altogether. Another one that is confirmed is called Pit. Now, this one appears to be some sort of abandoned mine. It appears very, very tiny and makes me wonder whether or not this one is actually a strike map. In other words, one of those 2v2 gunfight, but you can play 6v6 on it. We see a little bit of kind of the trains going through it, and we also see a little bit of small pathways going seemingly around the outside. Now, moving into maps that are not confirmed, but we have seen the first of which is Nuketown. In the presentation that I went to at Treyarch, they showed us a bunch of images of maps, one of which was redacted, but clearly it looked like Nuketown that had been hit by a sandstorm. So we don't know what this one's called yet, but it seems to be some sort of variation of Nuketown. Also, this one was Photoshop created. So another one that we've seen footage of is what you are seeing here of Liberty Falls. Falls. Now, it's rumored that this map is actually going to be called Rewind because one of the areas is an old 1990s video store, kind of like Blockbuster, and it takes place in the small town that is similar or the same as one of the new Zombies maps, aka Liberty Falls. We actually see a ton of gameplay from this individual map throughout the Black Ops Direct. So again, this is one we know that is absolutely confirmed. We just don't have a title of the name. So then we have some maps that we seemingly see some gameplay of in the Direct, but it's kind of hard to make apart. So the first of which is Saddam Hussein's Palace. Now, we know that this is a part of the campaign, but in one of the scenes in particular, you see an RCXD get called in, and it appears to be more of a multiplayer style gameplay than it does to be campaign whatsoever. So again, one we can kind of assume is in there, but not 100% confirmed. 
confirmed. Now, another one that is definitely multiplayer is this kind of little destroyed town. To me, it kind of looks European, but based off of the leaked maps, there was a map called Canals, and this one appears to have a bunch of canals and water on it, again, kind of appearing to be in Europe, a central building that seems to be completely destroyed and on fire, and again, more of this kind of close quarters kind of battle area. This one we have never seen in any campaign footage, so again, this one I would assume is definitely a multiplayer map. They also show some various different moving, like corner slicing and stuff like this on this map as well. There is another one where we actually see a character and a bouncing Betty go off on the beach. And this one seemingly is a map that we see with a bunch of these giant stone walls. Now, if you look behind some of these stone walls, you can see the same kind of beach we saw in that previous clip. And I have no idea where this map would take place or what it is, but you can very clearly tell that in all of these clips, they have those big stone walls. It takes place with a place with palm trees. There's a beach nearby. So whatever this map is, I haven't seen it yet, but it's definitely a multiplayer map because we see multiplayer perks used on it. Then we move into the ones that are a little bit more speculatory. And the reason why I say that is because these ones we know are locations within the campaign. However, some of the various different videos we see of them also look like multiplayer as well. The first of which is the casino. We know in the campaign there is a mission that is a casino heist. However, it also appears as though this location could very well be the location of a multiplayer map as well. Similar to that one, another location that we saw in some of the campaign footage was actually Verkuta Prison. I have a whole video on that if you want to check it out. However, some of these clips in this location very much so look like multiplayer. You see things come in, one of which appears to be an attack chopper or chopper gunner that you're actually shooting out of. Other moments, you can see people throwing smokes, things along those lines, and a lot of the footage that we actually see from that looks more multiplayer-esque than campaign whatsoever. So again, another crossover that I kind of expect to see with that one. Just like that one, there is another one where we see a kind of CIA black site. It actually looks like a relatively small map. You can see some computers, things like that, but we do get to see like a player jump through the window and once again, it appears more like a multiplayer fight than it does a campaign mission. However, we do know that the CIA black site is in one of the campaign missions that we even saw footage of within that direct. So again, that is the final crossover. Now, the last one is a bit more than a stretch, I would say, but you'll see what I mean. So within the campaign footage, we learn about a safe house. At this safe house, you can go to where the evidence that you've collected on your missions, put it on the evidence board, get intel, things along those lines. And they show us this very much so in depth. Well, in one of the scenes in a direct, there is very clearly a gunfight going on at the safe house. So this means one of two things. In one of the campaign missions, the safe house is under attack. Or option number two, there is a multiplayer map on the safe house. It's one of the two. I'm not going to say it's 100% a multiplayer map as of yet, but just know that there is that little scene there as well. So that is all of the footage that we have seen from any of the multiplayer map side of things within the direct. This essentially showed us 12 if not 13, if you count the safe house maps. Now, as I mentioned, 16 maps will be there at launch, and this doesn't mention any of the kind of returning maps that have been leaked, for example, like firing range. But like I said, this is just the tip of the iceberg. This is one of the things that we have to look at before the reveal for Call of Duty Black Ops 6. So if you found the video informative, you like all of the information, you wanna stay up to date on everything Black Ops 6, make sure you hit that subscribe button, turn notifications on, hit that like button on the video. Let me know what you think down in the comments. And as always, thank you so much for watching. And until next time, peace. We are, we are real.